three, two, one, go. Ladies, gentlemen, and ace-heads of the world, may I have your attention, please. The show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Go ahead, let's start this thing off. Hey, we're here, episode eight. I am Team Cuban Link. We're starting a new campaign off. We're going to get into that a little later. I'll tell you what, each week I think these things are going to get easier and easier. But running the company, even with all these employees, man, my guys are putting a ton of time into this. We keep trying to change it up. Tonight is going to be a big show. I'm excited. We got so many promotions starting, so many giveaways going. Uh, Tonight I got Matthew Palombo from Audio Control. Uh, I don't know if you all heard, they're coming out with some subwoofers, some speakers. It's not just about DSPs, crossovers, and amps. And I got Derek Haddock here from Sundown and also Sundown Unofficial. He's got a YouTube station kicking. He does dinos. He does some talking. Man, this is great. A couple announcements right now. If you're watching us on YouTube, Facebook, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe and share this out. Right now, the counts are going up. I like to see everybody in your live. I know they all can't watch it at this time. They watch it later on, but let's blow it up tonight. You know what? We're going to give away a ton of stuff tonight. All right. We hit over 17,000 subscribers. So tonight at the end, we're announcing the 17K giveaway. And this giveaway, we're giving away something really, really cool. Can we pull that up on the screen? Yes. Big shout out to Gale Force, new company with his F series. We are giving away four of those and a kicker marine amp and kicker copper wire. Let's just tell you this is over a thousand dollars worth of stuff. We keep stepping it up. Now we're real close to hitting 18K. And you know, every thousand subscribers is another giveaway. We're about 450 people away. So hopefully in the next couple of days, we can do it. Otherwise, Y'all might miss out for a week. That's up to you. So share, share, share. Okay. Also, you can in YouTube, if you're looking at the bottom, you should see the product at the bottom. You can click it. It'll take you directly there. We also have raised $163 for young women's uh, breast cancer awareness. Thank you for the people who have donated. Remember, that doesn't go to us. YouTube collects that, gives it to that. That is uh, an organization that is dear to my heart that also goes with our uh, hair tricks for a dollar demo that's going to be done next month. Um, so if you have a charity you believe in and you want us to help you out, make sure you send us an email at podcast at bigjeffaudio.com and uh, let us know. We'll see what we can do. Okay, new campaign, Team Cuban Link. Can we pull that picture up? We've been giving out uh, chains. It seems like there's some trolls out there that want to be like Big Jeff. So we said, well, we'll just make everybody like Big Jeff. We've been giving out chains. We've been shipping chains. You might see them in your orders. We're also doing a giveaway with it. So if you get a uh, Cuban Link chain, take a picture of it on, uh, maybe stand by some product you bought from us or a Big Jeff swag. Send the picture in 737 Big Jeff. And uh, guess what? We will put you in a special giveaway that we'll do in 30 days. I'm not even sure what we're giving away, but it's going to be something big. I love this campaign. Also, get drunk text by Big Jeff. Man, 
All you got to do is text the word drunk to 737 Big Jeff. That's 737 244 5333. And uh, man, all I'm going to do is probably have a good night. And then you're going to get a text from me saying, hey, you won. And then uh, we'll ship you out something. We got a video about that. We've already started that campaign off. Tonight's giveaways. We got the Big Jeff umbrella. Those just came in. And this idea came to me at Made of Steel. The skies opened up on us like it was a freaking hurricane. I said, man, I wish I had an umbrella. So we went and got them made. We're also giving away the normal swag pack. Can we pull that up? Yep. And then uh, so we'll ship that out to you. We have the Big Jeff chair. So car shows, wherever. Got chairs with the Big Jeff logo on it for you to sit down, relax, put your drink in it. And uh, we're going to give away tonight 20 gold chains. Uh, yeah, obviously they're plastic. Don't think you're getting a chain uh, like uh, I'm wearing. But uh, we will send you uh, chains out. We're going to pick 20 people to start it off. And then uh, basically with all the orders from Big Jeff Audio, you should be receiving chains in there. And then at the end of the show, we got the 17K giveaway. Uh, let's, uh, you know what? Let's bring everybody on. Bam, bam. There's the team. There's Mr. Palumbo and Derek. Unfortunately, Mr. Palumbo what, didn't get a chain in time, but we're going to make sure we can get that team, get a picture back. Derek's down there. I got my man up top, Taylor Orr, who's our online manager at the office. Anthony is the guy that writes all the content, talks to the guests. Taylor B., we call him security. He's in there in the comments, making sure everybody stays in line. Also, he's the one popping them up for you. And man, my main man, Ben, who does all the videos and the graphics. Uh, we got Derek here from Sundown Unofficial we're going to go over. And uh, we got Mac going to be talking about some really cool stuff tonight. Uh, what you need to do for the first giveaway, everybody, uh, comment the word control. C-O-N-T-R-O-L. You only need to do it one time. And we will pick out a winner. And uh, we'll give away the first giveaway tonight. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to send Derek. I'm going to send you back to the green room. Hang out. Watch us. We're going to pull you back on a little bit. Matt, we're going to bring you back on. We're going to go do a uh, short video break. And uh, let's have a good night. This is Big Jeff. Big Sound by Big Jeff, number eight. Digging that whole beat, man. I'm just bouncing around. <laughs> I actually want to go hear it in the car. My guys put that together. There was an audio control uh, video we grabbed, and then we kind of just manipulate around. Uh, real quick, Matt, how long you been with audio control? Uh, it'll be, let's see here, five years in August. Awesome. So you're definitely not a newbie. You've been around. I'm going to jump right in because of the video. I think this is the talk, obviously, because everybody knows about epicenters and uh, DSPs and really clean amplifiers, but... What's going on with subwoofers and speakers? Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, Audio Control's, um, you know, been wanting to do speakers and subwoofers for a long time. It's just something we haven't really had the right people or resources to be able to pull off. Um, we've been asked by our, you know, consumers and enthusiasts out there for years, like, man, when can I do an all audio control system? When are you guys going to bring out speakers and subwoofers that live up to your, you know, expectations, et cetera? And uh, now, you know, being part of the AMP Global umbrella of, you know, brands and part of that family of brands, we we have the people and the resources to do it. And well, literally we'll start right there. I don't think everybody yeah. understands. So audio control is not just audio control anymore. Uh, not long yep. ago, it kind of got sucked into multiple companies, which yep. I guess allow now allows you now to branch out. Right. 
Yeah, so it's uh, it, it was a perfect fit for us. I mean, audio control um, had reached kind of critical mass. Like we were a you know homegrown small company based in the Pacific Northwest, um, still based out of the Pacific Northwest for the audio control uh, headquarters and everything. But we had reached a point where it's like, okay, we've gotten you know ten times the size we used to be, but now what? How do we get to that next level? And audio control was really good at doing you know kind of more what I would describe as the analog side of car audio with high to low adapters and DSP conversion and or uh, DSP processing and things like that. But we weren't ever really great at or really dabbled in the digital side with CAN bus networks and, you know, tapping into those sorts of things. Um, and that's where the two really work well together is, you know, for those that don't know, Amp Global is your, you know, PAC, Echo Master, Stinger, um, uh, Phoenix Gold, now Audio Control, all those brands are kind of under that Amp Global umbrella. And so for those that don't know, like, you know, PAC is one of the leaders in digital integration with CAN bus networking and radio replacement modules and things like right. that. Audio control knows how to make things sound really good. And that's our specialty. So you put those two things together, you know, it doesn't take long for anybody in this uh, on this podcast to think about what the possibilities could be or yeah, what we could do with that, right? Yeah. So pretty exciting stuff. So yeah, it was just over a year ago that the acquisition was um, made public. And that's almost exactly how long it took us to get the speaker and subwoofer project done. So, so you're exciting. the national sales manager. That's a big title. What are the difficulties you're facing now, especially with the growth? Sure. So, I mean, it's an interesting thing for me because, um, you know, national sales manager prior to the acquisition by Amp Global and national sales manager today are two very different things. You know, before I was doing a whole lot of things pretty much by myself and right. doing a little bit of everything. Um, now I have a whole lot more team behind me and a lot more people that I can rely on to get the smaller stuff done that I don't have to deal with every day anymore. Um, so for me, it's not just sales and making sure that we you know, hit targets and things like that. Obviously, as a company, those numbers are important, et cetera. Um, but it's just different now. So for me, I'm 100% focused on growth with the direct dealer channel. So me right. personally, I'm not really um, focusing on, you know, big distributors and uh, big box stores and things like that. I'm focusing on, you know, our direct online guys uh, like you. And I'm, you know, focusing on the mom and pop brick and mortar stores and things like that, as well as, you know, I now have a hand in product development, marketing um, a little bit of uh, support. Kind of sound like they took the leash Over off, down. right? You have yeah. obviously more capital, more manpower to, you know, kind of branch out and do things you probably held back, you know, before doing. What yeah. um, what potentially do you think we're going to see happen in the future? If there's anything, you can kind of give us a little glimpse, sure. right? Sure. What's, what's the next level? We come out with a, and, you know, I'm not going to call it an average show, but for it's nice, it's with a grill, but it, it's basic. It's not made right. for base heads, it's made for quality. What is the next step you think now that we've launched this and proven that it, it can work? Yeah, for sure. So what we wanted to do is like, you know, audio control is not a entry level brand. Um, so we're not gonna come out no. with $69, $99 for wax speakers. <laughs> like there's the market's flooded with those right. already. Yeah. Um, so what we wanted to do was go right in, you know, start right in that kind of mid level. Um, what I always say is like, if you're a guy working at a retail shop, if you're a high-end store, audio control is probably your entry-level brand. Yeah. If you're an everyday shop, we're probably one of your high-end brands. And 100%. I'm really comfortable with that. That's not a bad place to be. I think it's actually a really good place to be. Um, and so that's kind of where we're headed with product development as well. Is So this first line of speakers, which is the PMW series, is a awesome everyday set of speaker or uh, speaker lineup that will fit in your factory locations, but provide, of course, awesome output, sound incredible, all that good stuff. Um, also live up to the audio control name, work with our amplifiers, because our amps have a lot more power than most do per channel. Yeah, so and I want to jump in there. I want to jump in there real quick because <laughs> yeah. I get asked all the time, you know, you walk in my warehouse, there's millions of dollars of product, 40 brands. So I always get asked, you know, what's the best? What? And originally I have a seven series BMW V12 I bought last year. And I went with obviously uh, a Rockford sub and an audio control amplifier. And mm -hmm. the amazing thing is you could take, like at the time I did an 800 watt, right? Factory battery, factory, everything else. The system in here has already got like 32 speakers. I wanted a little bit more bottom end. 
Yeah. But you want to keep it efficient. You want to keep it where I'm not killing the factory and then going and getting yelled at by BMW. And I did that. And I'll tell you what, one built in high to low adapter and made for that type of high voltage type factory system. Yeah. 800 watts downplayed, right? Because it right. moved the living piss out of that <laughs> P2 uh, 12 inch, right? Mm -hmm. And not even that. When you've done cardio for so long, you can hear a difference in bass, yes. okay? When you're not just trying to kill it, you know, with these bass systems, man, there, there is a, there's an ominous, there's a sound of bass where you don't hear it, but you feel it. And I can tell right. you what, the amps, small, efficient, crazy, but, hey, we're not talking about a $200 amplifier, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. We got audio sellers here, actually, let me give a big shout out to audio sellers, Audio Sellers is one of our dealers. Uh, they're on our dealer program. And uh, big shout out, new website. Make sure you all check it out. Listen, I'm not one of those guys uh, to hide people like that. If he's making money, I'm making money. I always have a saying, if you get bigger, I get bigger. If yeah. I get bigger, you get bigger. He says, what products are coming out first? Can we wait to see everything? Can't, oh, we can't wait to wait to see. So right now, the subwoofers are shipping. Right. Yeah, so we started out um, two lines of subwoofers. You have the Space Series, which is the more slim line, you know, uh, shallow depth, if you want to call them subwoofers. Those started shipping almost a month ago. Um, the other series of subwoofers that you saw the preview of in the video is called the Spike Series. For those of you that don't know who Spike is, he's that little kind of Zach Morris looking guy that's uh, kind of has been in our manuals and a little Easter egg throughout our, our company history for the last, you know, 45 years. Right. Um, so it, to pay homage, we named the series the Spike Series. Spike Series is what I call the daily driver. It's your everyday subwoofer. You can use it in small sealed enclosures. You want to put two 12s in a big vented box and get nasty. It'll do that too. Um, and those are an 8, 10, or 12 inch woofer. You know, high power handling, um, good features. They all come with grills. All the subwoofers come with grills, by the way. Um, so those are included in the box. You don't have to order them or pay for them separately, which is a huge thing for a lot of consumers. Um, and then the PNW series speakers is the line that is now shipping. Like just a couple of days ago, those started rolling. And out. they can match up. There's amps to run the subwoofers, correct? Yep, absolutely. So we we very carefully plan the subwoofer line so that you know um, when you look at say a Space Series 10 inch woofer, our shallow 10. Uh, when you look at that, it very carefully matches up with several of our amplifiers. So if it's for a more conservative listener and, you know, maybe we only need three, 400 watts with a single 10, it's for uh, mom's Tahoe, whatever, you know, we have that. If you are looking for big bass, then, hey, that same woofer can also work with our, you know, 600 watt amplifier and let's let this thing eat, you know, and, and get loud. Um, so we have a little bit of everything there. Um, if it's cool with you, I can answer the question that just popped yeah, up. Yeah, you know, 100%. Will you be doing loaded enclosures? Ron, Ron is a big supporter of the of this show. For awesome. Sure. Yeah, great question, Juan. So we are definitely doing loaded enclosures. Um, the first ones that you'll see right away are, if any of you are familiar with some of the enclosures branded as Stinger, there was a, a line of enclosures that are branded as Stinger powered by Phoenix Gold. Well, those enclosures have now been redone to be Stinger powered by audio control. Those enclosures fit on the swing gate of the Jeep JKs, Jeep JLs, um, all the you know kind of late model Jeeps. And then we also have one for the Broncos that fits on the swing gate as well. So that mounts to the tailgate of the Jeep or Bronco and fits a single 12. It's an all bed liner sprayed box. They actually sound really good um, and get plenty loud for your average you know, daily driver. And then we also have a universal uh, truck enclosure that goes like under a back seat, that sort of thing, um, which is a unique enclosure as well. That's being redone to have an audio control woofer, which is an upgrade uh, in there as well. And then as far as like universal loaded enclosures, I won't talk too much about what's coming there, but I will say, yes, they are coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the stuff you're talking about, the truck closures, G, is that in production now or is that in design? Yep. No, that's already rolling. So um, really with those, it was just a running change. Um, so anybody that was, you know, like on the fence about a Jeep enclosure, let's say, and maybe they went to order one and it was back ordered, something like that. Well, right. if you ordered it, you know, two weeks ago or something, chances are when you get it, it'll be the audio control loaded enclosure because um, those are already shipping and starting to roll out now, basically. Oh, so. wow. You know what? I'm glad you're on. I'm going to uh, on the phone with Kevin if he's not on Fort July and, and start yelling because he hasn't brought this up at all. So I'm actually real glad you're on. Uh, everybody, you know, we're audio control distributor. We're an online seller. We will have all the product we're talking about up on our website. You can see scrolling at the bottom. 
Uh, check out Audio Control. Follow them. Check out their YouTube. Uh, and always come see Big Jeff. We will definitely take care of you. If you haven't commented the word already, you need to do the word control uh, so we can do that. We'll give you another minute or two. And uh, I always love this part. It's giveaway time. My guys will usually cut in with a video in about three, two, one. It rain in this mother. It's giveaway time. Try to change them up every so often. Uh, my guys, listen, Matt. I <laughs> know, man. It's there's a couple more, man. Gonna really <laughs> gotta hold yourself, man. Uh, and these, I, I don't want to take over time, but these just pop out on that Saturday when we're doing videos, and I'm just drinking Red Bulls, and I'm like, just just keep the camera rolling. Oh yeah. man. Okay. Uh, so. Matt, we're going to pop up the winner uh, for the uh, – what are we giving away on this one, guys? I totally – food bar. Oh, the umbrella. That's why we played the umbrella. Uh, <laughs> we'll pop up the name of the winner for the umbrella. Matt, you can call him out. Uh, guys, we got a winner yet from the comments. There you go, Matt. Just enjoy. You won. Congratulations. You got – actually, probably one of the first big Jeff umbrellas. Uh, we have a wood handle, made it big, cover my big nice. ass head. Uh, we got the logo on both sides, and it's red and black. Contact 737 Big Jeff. My team will get that sent out right to you. We're going to take a quick video break. Matt, stick along with us. We're going to bring on uh, Derek, and then we'd love to bring you all back on here at the end of it, okay? Sounds good. <laughs> Story time. We'll start off with a little demonstration. All right, so the sketchiest thing I've ever had happen to me in car audio is I was working on our old Terra, which had a very massive cap bank of, of caps like this. When I say massive, like the roof was full. We had caps and batteries and all kinds of cool stuff up there, and it was very, very powerful. So I'm basically doing some soldering on it on the power wire, and I'm soldering on live power wire. And as I'm soldering and soldering, and all of a sudden it should be just vaporized so that was definitely a highlight we're going to get into that uh my guys just told me i forgot to do one more giveaway uh that was supposed to be in the beginning which if i'm uh screwing this up now we did the uh there you go that was the umbrella we just gave that away though uh let's do the swag pack just jump it in pick out a winner for the swag pack who do we got, fellas? Erica Chase. Uh, you are the winner of the swag pack. Congratulations. Nice to see. I think it's a woman. Don't get mad at me if I was wrong, but I would guess Erica is. You're a winner. I got Derek here from Sundown. We're going to start the next year away by commenting What's the up? word Sundown one time. That will get you in the race, and we're going to be giving away. What are we giving away? Oh, we'll do the Big Jeff chair. How's that? There you go. <laughs> You got a big Jeff chair. Uh, Derek, thank you for coming on. Give us what was going on there in that video. Uh, we kind of got the idea, but can you give us a little more insight? Uh, it's basically, we just had a ton of uh, power on tap in that thing. And uh, because the way all, it was all located in the roof, it was very difficult to get to. So, um, yeah, I was just working on it. Everything live, power wire live. And, yeah, you uh, you, you send a, probably a several thousand amps of current through some solder it uh it, it doesn't like it very well right i can only imagine listen um when did your you compete correct you personally um i haven't competed since finals last year i'm, I'm probably gonna slow down this year in competing but normally yeah i'm, I'm i've been a competitor for uh for a very long time about what 25 was, years what was like the most memorable moment you had you know doing this oh my most memorable moment uh, probably the second year competing with the old Sundown Terra. It was an imported vehicle, so it 
it, we were kind of going head to head with some euros. We had some of the, the European guys were talking trash. And um, that year I took one of the, the Europeans own vehicles and beat them by a massive margin. But uh, that, that the second year doing it full time, I did a 172. And that was the loudest score in Super Street history at that time. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Spe- shit. Especially back then. So now we get to sundown. How long you been at sundown? So uh, officially, I've been full time at Sundown for a little over ten years. Unofficially, I came on fifteen years ago um, as basically a team member. Uh, at one point in time, I ran Team Sundown, but I started as a team member and then started doing basically side jobs and contract work. And I did that for five years before they hired me on full time because I originally actually lived in South Carolina. And then ten years ago, when um, we discussed me coming on full time with the company, I, I moved up to North Carolina, and yeah, I've been here full time ever since. And your official title there is what? So my official, what I call my day job is um, basically the inventory manager, warehouse manager. So I kind of run the, the back end of the company, uh, product coming in and out, in, inventory in the warehouse, keeping track of, of that, uh, tracking all shipments. If something basically comes in or out of here, it usually has to go through me. Right. And then let's get into the after hours, which is sundown on official. Yeah. Let everybody know what that is if they don't know. Uh, so, so basically unofficial was... I don't know, it's kind of a joke. Um, I want to start up a big multimedia push uh, 10 years ago or so. And uh, well, the company was still growing at the time. So we never did a, any official type big social media pushes. Like, you know, we had the basic Facebook and Instagram accounts, but just wasn't doing a bunch of videos and YouTube and that kind of stuff. And I, I something I wanted to do with the company, nobody, we didn't stick it together to do it officially. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to start a side channel and it was basically my old YouTube channel, just had my old name and I just re- renamed it. But I said, I'll, I'm going to do a side channel, but I want to keep it just relaxed and um, unofficial. It was just a, a name that came up. It's like, I, want, I don't want this to be something super proper, um, super professional. I just wanted something just chill. Like if I want to walk in the warehouse and click live or just start recording it, it just looked okay. And that's kind of how the unofficial name started. So that, that's the start of that. You got a ton of people following you. I mean, the last live you did, it was instant, which is awesome. If you have never seen the channel, you never watched it, we're scrolling across the bottom. Make sure you show some love. Uh, definitely subscribe to his YouTube. Um, check him out for sure. And then you do some dinoing too, which is kind of cool. We had actually sent you out one of our house brands, we call it the, uh, from DS18 called Black Diamond Audio. We have a 2,000 mm-hmm. watt amp. Guys, do we have a quick... Uh, Video on that, he just went ahead and did that. Can we bring that up? Here is the Black Diamond 2000 watt amplifier. This is the DIA P2000X1D amplifier from Big Jeff Audio. So let's jump into that dynamic run straight to one ohm again. How most everybody's going to be utilizing this amplifier. And here we go. Let's see what happens. But dynamic power at one ohm, 2,752 watts. That's 2,752 watts there, dynamic. From our black diamond 2K from Big Jeff Audio. The cool thing I like about it is that it's not just Sundown. I've seen you dyno a bunch of different amps, um, which is cool because you can't, not everybody's going to be 100% sundown, 100% this, 100% that. I mean, most of my customers mix and match things. They like this subwoofer, that amplifier. Uh, what do you like most about doing the dynoing? Is it, or is it just something that you don't even like you just do? Oh, no, I, I, I love doing it. So on, on top of my normal, uh, we'll say the warehouse manager type duties, I also do a, a lot of the R&D here. Uh, you just don't get to get to see it all that much. Um, I probably, of all the stuff I post and all the videos and pictures, it's it's probably a small percentage of the amount of R and D I do in here in the testing room. Um, I, I work here almost every afternoon. Come in, pick random stuff, play with it, even, even if it's just for the sake of some pictures and videos for social media. But uh, yeah, I, I love testing, doing R and D, testing out new stuff. Uh, basically, behind my camera here, I've got just racks and racks of prototype stuff and, and different products and things. But um, I, I love it. Right, and um, I've seen you even play around with woofers. I remember one, not even. With mounted with the frame or none, right? It was just flopping around. What was that about? Oh yeah, 
they, that that was just we we had a random basically it was a RMA like a warranty claim, but I, I don't know if the guy was trying to get a warranty. He just needed to get it fixed or get it traded out because even if something's not under warranty, you can still send it to us. There just might be a small fee we can swap product out like that. But it came in. It was um, the frame was broken, and we we've had that happen on a few, and it, it just made for a funny video. I just thought it was hilarious. And and probably get mad at you if you didn't want to do something with it. We got a tri-state Jeeps. What's good sundown? Oh, sorry. What's a good sundown sub and amp? in a jeep wrangler kind of vague question uh but yeah maybe give him a little input i think I say, that, yeah what generically i'd say all of them right but it, yeah. just, it just depends on how much room he's trying to how much room he's trying to utilize and take up i mean you could go with something like a zv6 um 15 or a pair of 12s in there or if you're trying to take up you know not not a whole lot of room something as small as those new u six and a halves a pair of those would, would tuck away in the corner really well Right. And then if I would say if you're worried about moisture, you do have the uh, Power Sports line um, mm -hmm. from Sundown. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, real vague. If we get uh, if he wants to comment back in with a little more info, we'll try to help him out. Um, man, is this something you think you're going to do till the end of times? I mean, are you Sundown for life and Cardo for life or what? Uh yeah, very much. I've, I've been here a while. I have no intentions of leaving and going anywhere. Um, I've I think I've said it before, like I'm. I'll I'll do this well until I'm into my 80s and retire from it. Right, right. Well, we're gonna do uh, another giveaway. If you haven't done already, you need to uh, comment the word "sundown." We're giving away a big Jeff Audio uh, chair, and uh, I think we got everybody in. It's giveaway time, and uh, it's my giveaway time. <laughs> All right, do we have a winner? When we get up, Derek, if you want to call him out, that'd be great. Oh, good luck. I dome. Yeah. I dome. You won yeah. the big Jeff chair. <laughs> I dome. Contact us at seven three seven Big Jeff. We're gonna take a small video break, and we'll bring everybody back on here, and uh, we'll see you right back here, Derek. All right. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Shout out to Big Jeff Audio down there in Ocala, Florida. Gonna say quiet. I know I'm going live and it's early, but sundown already here at 7.43 a.m. So they just started unloading. I'm told 17 skids, basically the whole truck of all sundown. <laughs> Uh, man, that was that big order. You basically put it together. It was like a, almost a full truck. Uh, man, it's crazy. I can't imagine the amount of stuff you put out, Derek, right? Because usually that's the cool thing. No matter who the people it's going to, you're always giving them shout outs online. And I think that it's all about working together. But yeah, I mean, how many guys you got working with you in the warehouse? I was just curious. Oh, uh, we, we only have a few right now. There's basically, including me, there's three of us that works in the warehouse here. Right. And when you're putting together pallets, it even takes longer and then wrapping it, getting it on the trucks. And then I'm sure products coming in, it's not easy. Um, we're all together, Matt. Uh, we do a little what we call Car Audio 101. I come up with some questions. Uh, before we get into that, we are doing the uh, Team Cuban link. If you want to get in on that, you would need to uh, text the word chain to 737 Big Jeff. We're going to pick 20 people out right away uh, tonight and send them out some chains, take a picture and send it back on in and uh, we'll get you taken care of. So I got a question for each of you. I'll put you on a spot. Everybody knows I don't let you all know, kind of just scare you up a little bit, but now they're pretty easy. Uh, I'll start here. Hey, Matt, what does an epicenter do? Yeah. Uh, epicenter is a unique piece. It's something that, um, you know, a lot of people have misinformation about what it does, and they think there's other things out there that do the same thing. What it actually does is create space that was never there. And what I mean by that is, if you want to get technical, it's analyzing the signal coming in. It's seeing what the lowest base that's currently in the signal path or in the song is, and then it's putting bass in artificially one octave below. So if the song you're playing only has bass down to 80 hertz, now that song has bass down to approximately 40 hertz, right? And you can adjust how much of that effect is applied with the uh, dash-mounted, you know, bass knob, so to say. It's not really a bass knob like a traditional subwoofer bass knob that would come with an amp. It's actually an effect knob, um, but that's what an epicenter actually does. 
And uh, that's why they've been successful since the 80s. And we've made more than a million of them and now a couple special editions. And they continue to be so popular. Gotcha. Good answer. Derek, Yo. what is your all-time favorite Sundown product? Uh, all-time favorite. So going, going back historically, it was the ZV2. Um, at one point in time, I actually owned a... Uh, I bought up all the ZV2s I could find uh, used after we we sold the first run, and um, now they were they were just a, a super tight gap kind of SPL based subs we did back in the day, and progressive spiders they they just worked really well. I ran those things for years, well well up until we we had the uh, ZV4 out, and I was still running ZV2s in my SPL vehicles. Matt, your all time favorite audio control product? Ooh, um, I'm gonna probably surprise a lot of people with mine and mine is the dqdx never so, even heard of that one yeah it's not a it's not our most popular product what it actually is is think of it as dsp light it's basically dsp without software it's six channels in six channels out rca um it's got a seven band front eq seven band rear seven band sub it does time correction it's a line driver it can do signal summing it can do signal matrixing it does about 80% of what most people do with a DSP, but with no software, it just uses dials and knobs. And then right. it's also, you know, uh, half to a quarter the price of your average DSP. Because of that, it's the one piece that I can say, you can basically add to just about any aftermarket system if it doesn't already have a DSP um, and make it better. Even if they right. have a great deck and great amplifiers and great speakers. If Definitely like, caught me off guard, Derek. Yeah. I'm thinking, man, dials and screws, set it up, man. When yep. DSP came out, Bluetooth, I was like, yes. Okay. Yep. Derek, how does the dyno work? Uh, essentially, the dyno has a has a bank of resistors inside of it. Big big resistors can have a bunch of power, and you get they're just adjustable the way they're wired inside, and um, you pick what impedance you want to run it at. And that's that's it. It's at um. So you got like your certified run. It's going to sense a, a lower distortion, less less than one percent THD. And even though the dyno will actually keep running up in the background and keep ramping up, but it just it stops reading at that point. And then uncertified, it it reads up to just a higher level distortion. But that's it. It's, it's basically just a intelligent big resistor bank. Man, okay. So this is the time where we get close to giving the announcement and the winner for the seventeen giveaway. Um. First, I want to say thank you guys for coming on the show. Uh, we're actually ahead of time, so we might have a few more minutes to kind of talk about some things. Uh, but the, and this is what it's about, two different brands working, talking uh, together. I am sure there are thousands of people running Sundown product and running audio control product. Um, obviously, even our own demo vehicle, you know, go with the best when it comes to DSPs or processors like that. And uh, for sure... Uh, head of the game, stun down audio for sure. Uh, is it good to run a DSP on your subs if you demo or do SPO? Well, this is definitely an easy answer, but one of y'all want to jump on this one? Sure, I'll, I'll take it. Um, I would definitely say yes. I think it's funny how many SPL or big demo guys actually don't use DSP. Um, they think they don't need it because they're not a SQ guy. Uh, but there's still a lot that can be gained from running a DSP. I mean, for example, the audio control DSPs can feed out up to a 10 volt RCA signal. So even if you're using it as, you know, more or less a line driver, um, you're getting that out of it. Hell, you need to bring in two channels of signal and feed it out to five sub amplifiers. And you just want a way to do that, but give them all a 10 volt signal. I mean, you could use a DSP for something as simple as that. Um, but you know, take it from, I guess the best example I can use is the guys at like um, Sky High Car Audio. Um, every one of their demo vehicles uses an audio control DSP. And I know once they did that, you know, these are big SPL vehicles, stunt walls, all that type of stuff. Um, they're like, man, the difference it made from no DSP to having a DSP in those vehicles, now they won't build one without it. Right. You know, so if I, if that I, means anything to anybody, it's, uh, you know. It's, I, it's I think the bigger something. thing too you forget is that they can preset for different, you know, if they're doing uh, or trying to move air or trying to hit yeah. a number, they yeah, can DSP have those presets, preset, man. right, and just click a button and it's done instead of sitting there trying to move it. Uh, yeah. What We got one more. If you have a four-channel amp at 1,200 watts, why does it only output 150 at two ohms when I'm needing – what? Okay, hold on. 
Derek, I'm giving this one to you. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure uh, what he's asking here, but uh, I, I I need it. I don't know. I don't know how to answer this one. It's it's um it's not coming across well. I'm guessing he's talking peak power is the only thing I can imagine. Is he yeah. saying 1,200 watts divided by four would be 300 per channel? But uh, if he's getting 150 at two ohm, he's probably thinking well, 300 because yeah, that makes 100 percent. Uh, Dylan, most even though companies are way more better at rating, it's still advertised marketing. We're using peak power. Uh, you always want to check the RMS ratings, and when you're matching up speakers, amps, subs. Always go by the RMS rating. You need to have at least that. Here's my rule of thumb when I used to do installs uh, years ago. If I have to turn a gain past halfway, um, I'm just doing distortion at that point. You can always turn down or gain down power. You can't gain it up. So uh, in your situation, it sounds like you have a peak power, and it sounds like that amp is rated at 2 ohms, 4 channel, which is very common now. Uh, but always look for the RMS ratings. That's the true power. Derek, if you were to give, I guess it's a kind of weird question, but everybody listening tonight, everybody's going to listen to this for the next so many weeks or months. If you were to give some wisdom, Derek wisdom right now, what would you tell all the new people coming up and all the people that think they know everything? Uh, the best wisdom I would give to new guys uh, generically getting car audio, don't worry about SPL numbers. Just build your system how you want to enjoy it and enjoy it. Don't uh, don't worry about chasing numbers. Leave that to the guys in the lanes because you will you will stress yourself out like crazy worrying about numbers that are honestly irrelevant to enjoy your system. Hundred um, percent. You know this is supposed to be a fun in, uh, industry. I think sometimes people take it too serious, even when they're talking about different brands and they're ready to fight over it. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, when and especially with a guy like us that we, we distribute so many different brands and sell so many different brands, get what's best for the price that you can get. And what I mean by that is, but you got to weigh it quality, the warranty, the, you know, the sound quality, just because it's a thousand dollars and something else is $500. You can't rate it that way. You know, look at the specs, watch the videos and don't listen to the guy next door to you. Cause they're always going to say what they think is best. If I had a dollar for, I'll tell you what, we call different states, obviously. You do the same thing, Matt. I'm sure, Derek, you've talked to different people around the country. I can tell what area I'm talking to by the product they say is the best. Does that make sense? 100%. Okay. 100%. Yeah. And Dude, I can I, almost, yeah. maybe not down to the county, but I can tell you what state for sure, mm -hmm. right? Because one call Death Bounce, one call Sundown, one call Scar, it's, this is the best. You got to get that. That And, you know, it's crazy. Just have fun with it, man. You yeah. know? Set a budget, stick to that budget, and enjoy it. That's what I tell everybody. Uh, and start there for sure. Okay, we are getting to that time. Um, I got a funny video, Matt, if you thought the last ones were good. Uh, can we play the video? I know it's just off the wall, but go ahead and play it before we announce the winner. That's Do another the giveaway. Do another giveaway. Do another giveaway. Do another giveaway. Do another giveaway. <laughs> Big Jeff giveaway. Big Jeff giveaway. Big Jeff giveaway. Yeah, Big Jeff. I can set up giveaway. Big Jeff, I can set up giveaway. Okay. It's giveaway time. I swear sometimes how I feel. I just had a customer just yesterday. Uh, you know, I wanna can you send me a swag pack? And I'm like, yeah, we'll get it on your next order. We always do free stuff. Oh no, I already ordered from you. Okay. Uh, you didn't get anything with it? Because we always send stuff. No. I said, okay, where did you order from? Our website or eBay or Amazon? Amazon. I said, unfortunately, we don't give stuff away for that. That's why I recommend everybody come to the website. Well, he's like, well, I already bought something. So send me. I said, here, you can sign up for the drunk text. Uh, you can sign up for the uh, YouTube giveaways. You can go right now and leave a Google review. Like, didn't want to do that. Just want me to send something. And I'm like, <laughs> thousands of people every week I, I, mm -hmm. I just you know understand i do the best i can probably more than most companies man but man, anyway if i had a dollar for every request i got for a free t-shirt or sticker i'd be Derek, a millionaire how many times do you get the call <laughs> or the message to get sponsored never been at a a, a show yet uh Never bought anything of your product yet. They haven't even shared a post yet, but they're because they want to get sponsored. And 
I, I, I'm sure you probably get hit up all the time too on that. Um, if you were to guess in a month, how many times do you get asked for free product or sponsorship? That's you, Derek. It, it's it's almost daily for me. Um, I, I'll tell you one of one of the probably the most comical ones. We've we've had a kid that was in high school that didn't even have a car actually yeah. send up send a massive email in about how much he would rep our product as soon as he got a car at some point in the future. But he wanted to send it to him now so he could show it off to his high school friends. It was a uh, it was fairly comical. And, and you try to be nice as you could be, but it's just like, uh, man, you know, there's ways and, and times for that. Oh, we got another one here. Dylan, it's Dylan again. Jeff, do you have your own decal? I'm guessing decal is sticker. Yes, we got a bunch of stickers. We just ran off. I don't know how many thousand. I went and bought one of those vinyl plotters because it's just like just printed ourselves. Uh, yeah, we actually have them on our website. We have two different wrap type full colors, and we'll be launching single color vinyl stickers. All right, let's get to the 17K giveaway. Can we bring that back up so everybody knows what we're giving away? Okay, so it's a kicker amp, a kicker amp kit, and four Gale Force uh, six inch. That is a marine setup. You can go on golf carts, boats, whatever. We're giving that away. And we're about to pick the lucky winner. And tonight's winner for the 17K giveaway is. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, female. Aaron from NC, North Carolina. I would love to give this to my boyfriend for his birthday this month. Well, whoever your boyfriend is, is super, super lucky. I'm excited that you actually watch us and support it. Uh, we will get that out to you. And he is a lucky man. That is awesome. Um, real quick, we have uh, next podcast is every Thursday. That will be July 6th at, 6th at 730. We have Jerry Ain't Loud. And we have Big D actually coming on from Williston Audio Labs. Uh, that'll be on next week, so make sure you're here for that. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. Go check out Audio Control. Uh, sometimes I don't think people get the real understanding of what Audio Control is. They just think uh, out of the off the rocker prices and not really able to do bass, and it's just all about sound quality and eyes. That's not true. They got a whole new line of product. Definitely check out Derek at. We get that up there again, and that is uh, Sundown Unofficial. Sundown Unofficial. Yep, uh, YouTube. And I'm guessing you do the same thing on Facebook. There it is, forward slash Sundown Unofficial. Make sure you yep. subscribe, like, and check for sure. Uh, show your love and support. Listen, if you guys, uh, any of the people watching, if you want somebody on here, send us an email to podcast at bigjeffaudio.com. Uh, some of the people we bring on are people that you recommend. Uh, or you want to see on here, if you want to be on here, send us an email. Uh, tonight's been a great night, man. Thank you so much for taking the time coming on. Uh, I'm going to actually get on Kevin, my sales rep's ass, because uh, I didn't even know some of the stuff, so uh, I might hit you up during the week. Derek, big shout out, man. You've been awesome. Uh, I appreciate all the love and attention you give the company. Uh, I mean, that's we're, right. We're proud to be uh, Sundown Audio family, and uh, man, we're just excited. So, this was another podcast. We had a great night. I appreciate everybody coming in. And uh, make sure you sign up to the – Did we, can we got a second? Can we play the drunk text video? I think I missed that. And, uh, that was hilarious. I was wearing the hat you gave me at Made of Steel, Derek. I appreciate that. I love those straw-type hats, man. Um, I want to get them made. It's just awesome. Like, I can't find – if you can send me a link, I can't find a, a good supplier to make them for me, but I love those hats. Uh, yeah, so if you haven't done it, Text the word drunk uh, to Big Jeff, 737 Big Jeff, and also text the word chain to 737 Big Jeff. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Derek. I'd love to have you on again, maybe even singular. We get more time to just kind of chit chat and talk. But until the next time, uh, make hey, love air grease. And, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming on. This is great. This is what we do it for. All right. Yeah, I'm Big Jeff. Thanks for having you guys. Another episode gone. I'll see you next week. Make sure you have a safe and happy July 4th coming up. We got all types of sales, including Sundown. I don't want to say audio control because I got to get that verified first. We're all sensitive about discounts, <clears throat> but I will double check and let everybody know tomorrow for sure. And uh, I'll see you next time at BigJeffAudio.com. Have a great night, guys. Big Jeff Audio. 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 Audio.
je ne sais quoi. Yeah. Big Jeff Audio. Je ne sais quoi.